<laughs> All right, let's check in with the appreciative KRQ News 13 anchor, Elizabeth Alvarez, with the morning's news headlines. She's just glowing, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Oh, glowing. thank you. A couple more weeks, ladies. Couple more weeks. A couple more Ooh. weeks. <laughs> All right, uh, good morning to you. Good morning to you at home. We begin this morning talking about how an Albuquerque police officer is recovering after another officer accidentally shot him. It happened around 8.30 last night. Well, police were looking for a man with a gun on the roof of a business near Old Coors and Central. Well, it turns out that person they were looking for had a BB gun. And while police were clearing the area, one of them bumped into a wall and that officer's gun went off. Now, the bullet hit another officer in the calf, just a flesh wound. He was rushed to the hospital and should be okay. The officer, whose weapon accidentally went off, will be under investigation, which really is standard protocol. This afternoon, the jury will be back at deciding the fate of a former Albuquerque cop accused of killing his wife. The nine women and three men spent nearly nine hours yesterday trying to decide if Levi Chavez is a killer but did not reach a verdict. Chavez is accused of shooting his wife, Tara, with his police-issued gun back in 2007 and making it look like a suicide. But Chavez's attorney claims Tara was depressed over Chavez's cheating ways and killed herself. Jurors heard from about 40 witnesses over a five-week span, including Chavez himself. On to an extremely sad but important story to tell you about. This morning, a high school student is dead. Officials say he took his own life after being bullied for years. He's not here because of bullying. It drove him, it, it drove him over the edge. Jacqueline Vigil is now having to say goodbye to her son, Carlos. He posted a note on Twitter Saturday afternoon referring to the mean names bullies had called him and saying he's now free. Carlos's dad heard about it, rushed home, but it was too late. Carlos was just 17 years old and he was going to Valley High School. He had transferred there to escape the bullying that his parents say he was going through at Los Lunas High. Even though now Carlos is gone, we need to like focus on what he left trying to say. That bullying is a problem. Where it's at can actually really hurt. And I think Carlos just, he, he couldn't do it anymore. Carlos's family took him off life support last night. They had been keeping him alive so that they could donate his organs. And on a completely different note this morning, there is some good news to tell you about. For all you hikers and bikers out there, Albuquerque's Bosque and the Sandias are getting ready to reopen. You will be able to get out there and enjoy the great outdoors once again, starting, oh, right about now, really, 8 o'clock. Uh, it, it's going to open. It includes the Bosque all the way from Socorro north to Cochiti. Remember, they had been closed down because of fire restrictions, but we got a lot of rain recently and that helped with the fire danger. But we are still in a drought, so just keep that in mind and be careful if you are headed out. And that wraps it up for your Tuesday morning headlines. Be sure to catch Matt, Kristen, and myself every weekday morning on KRQ News 13 beginning at 4.30 a.m. Kristen, I know you're loving the fact that the uh, Bosque is now fully open. Yeah, I'm excited about that. You know, and I was really excited last Friday. I was doing the cheer with the uh, the fire restrictions being oh, yeah. lifted up in much of the, uh, the Santa Fe National Forest mm -hmm. and most of the state lands, too. I love getting outside. I know a lot of people do around here. Yeah, it's, so it's comforting, too. Definitely some too. good news. Definitely. Yeah. Thanks so much, Elizabeth. Thank you.